my dance. Hey. Okay. Let's go. That's his daddy jeans coming out right there. Yes, look at those shoulders. Go rider, go rider, go rider. Oh, is that the 70s or something coming out there? Milo okay. Made that. Oh. Milo did that. Oh, Milo made that up? Okay. Milo made that up. Oh, the church. At the church? Okay, 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 okay. Let's go. Look at them hips sway, boy. Hey. Oh, I love it. Good Monday morning. I am still learning and growing. Yesterday was Sunday. I was at church and I was talking to a girl who has one of the youth students that I have at youth that she has two small dogs. We're talking about dog food. I told her that I was switching to the more expensive brand at Aldi. So this is 14 pounds. It says this is, this is food for adults, dogs, puppies, and seniors. So that's really great. It says deboned salmon and sweet potato recipe, complete and balanced nutrition, enhanced with pre and probiotics to help support healthy digestion. And we need digestion help because Stormy is still having diarrhea and sometimes he does. So um, it says no corn, wheat, soy, or fillers natural ingredients and vitamin, vitamins and minerals. Number one ingredient is real salmon, which that can't be true. That must be a lie. Oh, it is. Debone salmon is the first um, ingredient. I thought it was chicken. So I think there might be two types of food at uh, Aldi for dogs. If this dog doesn't get away from me and go eat his food. He has to like breathe my air. Not only do I have Hazel breathing my air, I got Thunder breathing my, breathing my air. Go eat. Stormy seems to like the food. I mixed the food. She had given me that tip. I was not going to do that. So far, every time we've changed food, we've just switched the food. And um, she was like, well, when you're switching food, you need to mix the food up so that they get used to the new food. So that's what I just did. I've been kind of moistening um, Stormy's food, but it looks like when we're just into this um, by itself, then um, I don't have to mix it. Let me show you guys what it looks like because Thunder's not eating his food right away. That's because uh, one day I gave him like a half a can of like beef gravy on his food. And so he, like, he, that's what he's waiting for every day, you can tell. Look at her going in, oh, she can't see. She's, she's going into his crate. She's gonna do in there. She better not pee in there. And so, basically, let me turn this camera. So you can see like the big, the big uh, pieces are Purina, um, which was has all the fillers and things in it, and the small kibbles is the salmon food. So um, she seemed to like it more, and I only give her about a cup, and I give her about a cup and a half now. Um, now she's eating his bone because he won't eat it because he's super, he has super high anxiety in the crate. So, um, she's going to eat it, I guess. And he's going to pretend like he, he might have, he might have kennel nose, kennel nose, I think is what it's called. He's got these little white spots on the side of his nose, but I think it's kennel. I think it's called kennel nose. I don't really know. Yeah, so it looks really good. I mean, this is the back of the bag. It says number one ingredient, real bone salmon, omega-3 and six fatty acids help support healthy skin and shiny coat, natural ingredients, vitamins and minerals, no clay. Like, I'm really excited about this. Deep bone salmon and sweet potato recipe. I think they might have a chicken one too. But these are all the, so crude protein, crude fat, crude fiber, moisture, zinc, selenium, vitamin A, E, omega-3, omega-6. Wow, no, total microorganisms, not less than 1 million. I didn't know that you could have unrefrigerated pre and probiotic food. I thought it had to be cold. Uh, it says, uh, oh yeah, I didn't even see, I, this is, I didn't, I'm reading it now, transition, weaning.
growth. Reproduction. Here they have reproduction. Feeding rate should adjust based on breeding activity. Oh wow, no need to supplement. Protect your dog, protect the food from moisture. Okay. I'm really happy with this weight of your dog. So my dogs are both about 40 pounds. Um, He might be 50 pounds now. So two and a half, okay. Adjust him in, okay. Let's go. Thunder. He doesn't like it. She's in his kennel. They're not super territorial about their kennel, so they don't get vicious, really. And I don't think he likes that bone that's in there because it's been there for two nights. And, oh, I have a happy helper. Name Winter coming down to help me, so I'm about to go get started because we have a lot to get done this morning. I think public school's done. School's on a race to be done. We're done with some things, but... Leave her. She's eating that bone, isn't she? Meow. I don't feel like taking it from her, so let's let her have it. talk about your concoction that you made today. How, is, how does you feel that it came out? What's wrong with it? It's just, yeah. We have eggs, lunch meat, lunch uh, cheese, sliced cheese, and what else? What was it? Noodles. Noodles and... <laughs> And salt. Okay. So, I mean, that's not, it's not bad. Well, I mean, just saying the concept is not bad. I think the execution was bad. But I mean, it's your fault. And you got a hot meal in your belly. That's always good, right? Yeah. All right, guys, let's clean up. Ryder, what are you looking for? I want that. R River, why can't he play with the Uno cards? I want to cook a lot of food. Oh, okay, you have a mouthful of food. and Actually, I just saw some orange dust fly out of your lips. Are you eating those cheese and peanut butter crackers? Okay, we'll sit down. Bye, Ryder. Yeah. See you later. Love you. It's... Oh, my battery's about to die. Okay, let me switch the camera battery. Got a new battery for the camera. Came in here to get my new battery for the camera, and then we have this little chica. This little chica is awake. Right, girl. Right, girl. So we're about to brush her teeth, get her breakfast going, get her changed. One of the kids just told me that one of the dogs peed upstairs on the carpet. So that's a the memory card was full, and my which I don't even know how it was full. We're just gonna do that for now. And I switched memory cards <laughs> for my camera. And now I'm gonna get this little girl all taken care of. Right, girlfriend? 
right, girlfriend? I have a ribbon cutting to go to, a ribbon cutting to go to today for our friends at church. They're opening up their business. Well, officially, I believe their business has been open, but they're opening up their brick and mortar location. Um, so I'm excited to do that today. And uh, I have a hair appointment today to get my um, extensions layered. So I'm really excited about that. Uh, these are like 20 inches extensions. So I normally don't get them that long, but they didn't have any other choice. Um, they were out of 16 inches, which would be my choice. Actually, I prefer 12 inch, but they didn't have that as an option at all. It was 16, 20 or 22, I think. And so they're also also a lot of 16. So I got 20 inches and now I'm gonna go get them layered at the salon. Um, so I'm excited to get that done today. And uh, it's a school and the kids because we're still struggle, struggle busting through the rest of the school year. Right, Hazel? Right, girlfriend. Yay, girlfriend. Can I have a kiss? Can I have a kiss? No kisses from mama. Can I have a kiss? Oh, girl. Oh, girl. Give me kisses. I'll give you a kiss. All right, let's get this done, girlfriend. So it's Friday. And today's been a world one of a day. One dog that sh shall not be named pooped in their crate. And um, so it took a lot to clean that out. Uh, then just... Um, I'm calling today the first official day of summer, which is, it's been summer, but that's what I'm calling today. So I've like eliminated some of the, th the things from the kids' school schedule and what's the matter with Hazel? We got like, I had to spray the spray down the curry, we had to take it outside. Now I do the dog laundry every, every morning. We check out their bedding and we wash it every day um, because I just can't not do that. So already it's in the dryer, it's got three minutes left. So I'm trying to put away the rest of this uh, stuff um, that's here and then I need to go homeschool plan for next week because we're still not done our core curriculum. So my goal is to do that. Uh, and see what we can, what I can all get done today. But that's the plan for today. The kids, I put on Madeline or Madeline. Remember that old school? I don't know if y'all can see it with the, the Catholic school girls at the boarding school. That's what they're watching right now. Hazel's just staring at us, pretending to cry, and the kids are watching that. So, um, I'm just going to keep the TV on. We don't normally keep the TV on, but it's summer. So, that's what we're going to do, and I'm going to get this laundry done, and go about and do all the other things on my to-do list, um, and see how much I can get done as well as get homeschool planned for next week, which is just making sure that they stay on top of their math skills, stay on top of their reading skills. For Jordan, we're working on scholarship things. Um, he's been working, he's worked on scholarship things since ninth grade, but he hasn't been awarded any scholarships. And I feel like a lot of the scholarships are like um, spam, spammy. So we're gonna home down, listen to an audiobook about this a girl who got $500,000 in scholarships and went to Vanderbilt for free. So we're gonna listen to that. We it can't go wrong gaining more knowledge. So that's what we're gonna do. Listen it together. We listen to like the first two intro, intro chapters together today, and then chapter one we're gonna listen to on Monday, and we should finish it in about two weeks, and then be able to implement that, and then get his schedules together for his twelfth grade year. I've never graduated a homeschool kid, so just figuring all that stuff out. Again, comment below if you know somebody who's graduated a kid and I need to talk to them, I need to get ideas. And so I need to interview women who successfully graduated their kid and they're out in the working world doing the things. Um, and so I just have questions, but that's fine. I'm gonna get this laundry done. Oh, got a little bad dog in here. Drinking water. That's the bad dog that pooped in his crate. Fun, fun, fun. And it's now Saturday morning, just like that. Um, I am getting ready to brush my teeth. Just finished my Bible study with all the things here. And, um, when I come back from my run, which I'm up to a mile 
and a half, a mile and a half every day. So the month of June, I'll be running a mile and a half every day, which is not too bad when I'm talking on the phone because I like to talk on the phone when I run. It's the total opposite of Devon. He likes to be completely silent. It's 72 degrees outside, so just wondering if I'm going to, I like to run in long pants, but I, what I really need to do is get me some um, like shorts leggings. I don't know what you call them, biker shorts, I guess, with a, um, with a pocket for my phone because that's my favorite way to run is when I have a pocket for my phone. Every time I try to run in sweatpants or something with a loose pocket, my phone falls out, hits the ground. That's annoying. I mean, I'm not all about time, but a good time is nice, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and get myself ready to do that. Devon's cleaning up dog mess from upstairs in the playroom because nobody was watching the dog. So they ran upstairs and did their doggy things. So he's uh, getting out the carpet cleaner and doing that. And then I'm gonna take my trusty, dusty, trusty, dusty, my trusty black light that I bought from Amazon and shine the carpets uh, or take a look at the carpets tonight to make sure that all things are clean. So um, I got that from one of my friends at church. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Is it a lot? Was it a lot, Devon? It's the normal size, like she always does. It was normal. Was it solid? Of course not. <laughs> he looks so happy. But I'm going to go get this running. For my run, I'm getting ready to clear off my little space here at my counter. Get rid of this stuff now. And then I'm going to get ready for the day. I think I need that actually. Peter, I am having a food break because Devon bought me breakfast. It's 10.46 and everyone else ate. I didn't get to eat. And I feel really excited because I'm eating now. And um, catching up on a little bit of YouTube video. I'm really excited because we're going to a barbecue today. That's free. Listen, we like free stuff. So, we're gonna head over there first and then we have a birthday party to go to after, so. It should be a fun day. And I'm still here transferring a million files from one of my old iPads to my computer. But we will get this done. We will. Computer work that I was doing. Now I'm just trying to finish River's hair before we go to this barbecue. Um, it is 12.30, probably actually past 12.30, maybe 12.45 maybe. 12.40. Um, so I'm going to finish braiding her hair and putting beads on it. Wait, you can see where And I'm then on. we're gonna head out to this barbecue. So hopefully it's fun and tasty. They have this bacon jam that's just so good. I cannot wait to eat that. It's delicious. Um, they have pierogies. I'm not a fan of pierogies. They just seem dry to me. One of the guys called them dumplings, but they don't seem like dumplings to me. Um, it's just fried dough type of thing, but I don't know. Not the fried dough that I'm used to, so it's just weird calling it fried dough too. So uh, I'm just excited to sample whatever they are deciding to bless the community with because I'm the community. No. Yes, Brooklyn. Do you know where he is? She's sleeping. Got River's hair done. I um, bumped my hair a little bit, so I got that done. I changed my clothes. God first, family forever, integrity always. Shout out to Kingdom Apparel and Decatur for this t-shirt. It's so soft and I love it. Um, now I'm just about to pick out something for Miss Hazel. It's gonna be over 90 degrees today. Um, shout out to the South for over 90 degrees. I'm here for it. We're gonna put Miss Hazel in a little dress because that's the easiest thing to do for her little booty. And I'm gonna lotion my legs and make sure my feet don't look dry like my pastor once said that he's seen 
he synced people. Well, he didn't say that. This is this is Rachel adding her her words to it. But he synced people at Walmart with croutons on their heels. Croutons, y'all. Croutons. So I'm about to cut the tags off these. Well, you can't really see them. Oh, there you go. It's like dark blue. Little sandals. Those are my legs. And I'm gonna get um, the kids. I'm gonna go get the kids inside right now to change because I need to change. <laughs> Don't be ashamed, it'll be fun. <laughs> His face was the funniest part. So we're back from our, the birthday party that we went to. You probably saw some clips of the kids in the bounce houses. One for our brother and sister that were turning three and five. But you see this crate out here, right? Cause you know we left them dogs at home in a crate because they're not going to be roaming around my house. <sighs> and Stormy, she does fine in the crate. Sometimes she howls and barks, but okay. And what's the point? You know that doesn't bother me. Howl and bark. You still you're staying in the crate. Um, but Thunder, he really hates the crate, and he pooped in his crate, y'all. And then he flung it on the walls. We're done cleaning it. We sprayed the crate down numerous times, bleached and sanitized the walls, and now we're just waiting for the crate to dry. And I got him a new cover because he tore up the cover that we got before. And that's what we're doing now, this little. Oh, it, it took a little bit of time, but it wasn't too frustrating. Thank God Devon was home, so he was able to help like spray the crate, take it outside, take it into the woods, spray off the poop into the woods and all that. So it wasn't too bad. Um, and we were able to spray down. It's funny how they can poop and then stay real clean. Like the tr the tray was a mess in the crate, but his paws were the only thing that had poop on him. He had no poop anywhere else. So um, I we hauled him down, sprayed off his paws, and um, and yeah, did that. So now we're just hanging out, trying to figure out what we're gonna do for the rest of the night. It's 7:55, but it's so bright outside. So. We're just, uh, kids are playing walkie-talkie things. Tomorrow's church. I think I'm about to go do some more computer work because I was stuck, uh, uh, an hour short of the time that I wanted to put in this week. So I'm going to go do that and call it a night. Probably get another load of laundry in the machine. I've just been praying and like struggling with my Sabbath time. Like it was that on at five o'clock on Saturday I would just completely stop doing all housework and just do things that were fun. But with the dogs and stuff, it's feeling like I'm still having to work. Um, and like time is being sucked away from the time that I would usually do think, get things done for our house and things are still needing to be done in that time. So I'm like, Lord, please show me what is Sabbath. How do I, how can I honor you well? And like, you know, with seven kids, it's just difficult. Sometimes you feel like to put a seven size. Now I have done it and it's been wonderful. And the house hasn't burned down. Um, one thing is like, I have to get the laundry sorted because the dog's food and their crates are in the laundry. Well, before we got the dogs, I would sort the laundry out at the end of my Sabbath. But I can't do that right now because they're taking the clothes and playing with them. So... I don't want them ripping up our clothes. So I ha as soon as it gets in there, I have to spend time sorting it. Um, and I don't, I can't let it overflow like I normally would. Um, if it was all clean, I would just let it pile up, pile up, pile up. Because, hey, what? I'm not doing anything right now. I'm resting right now. Um, look at them staring at me. They can't. They're like, what is she doing? They're a mess. So they see me walking back and forth outside. They want to come out here. But, um... I can't let it pile up like that because they take the clothes, run, hide, rip it up, do dog things, do puppy things, you know. So I have to keep my laundry room very like concise and neat in the time that I'm not uh, actively working in there so that the dogs don't take the stuff. And then there's just regular things that like, well, it was worth to clean out the crate and we had to do it because we're not going to let poop just sit in the house and we need to wipe the walls and clean up and bleach and steam mop because I don't want my house to smell like dog. Now, there's some dog smelling. I need to figure out what I'm going to do about that because 
sometimes when I come out from my room, because the dogs don't really go in our room, there's not a lot of surfaces that they can uh, be on, like not on our bed, no thank you. Um, and so our room doesn't really smell like dog, but sometimes when you come into the living room, because they do, they're on the couch and sometimes it, so I need to find a, a better deodorizer um, that kills germs and eliminates odors. I'm using Otoban, which works actually really well when I spray it down, um, but I spray it a lot. So, and then Devon does upholstery cleaning in the carpets because we always did that anyway. But now with the dogs, it's like we really need to make sure that we do that. And um, just the air quality, I just wanted to smell like fresher than what it smells. So if you have any ideas, let me know. So I'm gonna go back in this house and struggle with my Sabbath time and keep my house clean. <laughs> Okay, so now I am headed out to TJ Maxx. It's 8.52. I think they close at 9.30. I just want to kind of go there, browse a little bit, and then I'm going to go to Ross right after. Making sure my garage door closes. Not sure y'all can see me. You probably can't. So maybe I'll just talk when I get there. It'll be awkward though because it's always awkward to vlog in a store, but let's okay, do so that. I went into TJ Maxx. Now I'm going into Ross. I forgot to while well, I was in TJ Maxx, but now I'm going to Ross, which to me is like a cheaper TJ Maxx, but they have like good quality things. So I'm gonna grab a cart and see what I can find. So I really like to check out the dog things, but they're kind of like lacking things today. Um, I'm just gonna check out the dog treats. I don't use dog wipes, I just use baby wipes. And um, I don't seem to like, I don't really like getting hard treats for my dogs, so they don't seem to enjoy it that much. They seem to enjoy soft treats. These power bites. Let's see what's in them. I've been checking the ingredients lately because apparently. Potato, potatoes, peas. Um, they do actually ha or have some connection to developing heart disease in dogs. Potatoes and peas in their like like a grain free diet. <sighs> so it's been hard to find stuff that I wanted to use or give to my dogs. And they have lots of different things and prices on a lot of things too. Calming shoes for $5.99. I really don't want to get calming shoes. My dog probably needs calming shoes, but I don't want to. I like these really thin flat dog beds because I can put them in my washing machine, but this one's too small. And they used to have these really large bones for like $8, but I don't see anymore, so I don't see a lot. Maybe they didn't get a delivery. I think. I'm gonna go ahead and get out. They have really nice art, but I'm not ready to do that for my house yet. I'm gonna check to see if they have any simple pet beds because I just like these flat ones. Not really. They don't seem to have any. I'll just keep checking. Shoe section, nine and a half. I think it's too big for me. It's, they want $47 for that. I don't think I will pay $47 for that. Let me get down to my size, which is like a 910. Like these plastic shoes, they're like water friendly, but I don't think I like the price. They want $19 for these. Mm, not for plastic shoes. The brand is Reef. They're really cute, but not at 20. Mm, got some Pumas. I do love Pumas, but I'm not a size 10 in women's. It's too big. Oh, these Nikes. Oh, these are interesting. These are nine and a half. Forty dollars. And ooh, I like these Adidas. And they want thirty-five for these. Oh, these aren't Adidas. They're prime green. I don't know 
what prime green is, but that's not what I want today. These ones are Adidas, though. Uh, I think I'm done with the shoe section. Now I'm in the skincare section, and I'm gonna be looking for some glycolic acid um, items. I don't know if they have any clearance items, but I'm gonna start looking through here and see what I can find. So the first thing I found was this collagen and silicic acid. Now, collagen, I'm not interested in, but silicic acid. Um, it definitely helps my skin. Silicic acid and glycolic acid are the things I look for, and this is only $3.99, so I'm here for it. I'm gonna pick some of that up. It's a facial wash, so my facial wash that I use now has silicic acid. Actually, let me see how, what's the percentage? Oh, it doesn't say really, but that's okay. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know, but I'm gonna go ahead and get this one. I also found this proactive brand clarifying night cream and it says so like acid acne medication and it's only $8.99, so I might pick that up too. 1% silic acid is alright and it's a cream. I don't necessarily need to use it at nighttime, but um, I like cream that has silic acid or glycolic acid in it. I just found this. The brand is Alginist and it's a toner. And one of the ingredients in the toner, where is it, okay, is silicic acid. So I'm gonna go with that. That's $3.99. Okay, so I found this dark spot vitamin C glycolic acid, which I like glycolic acid or silicic acid in anything that I use on my skin. And this is $5.99, so that's a good price for that type of i think the age aha is alpha hydroxy so we'll try that too the last thing i found it's seed and clay probiotics technology a renewing face cleanser turmeric and honey which that really doesn't concern me i don't look for that what i look for is silicic acid or high or glycolic acid see and it says it right there silicic acid so i'm gonna go ahead with that and I think that's all I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get these couple products here and that should stock me up on silicic or glycolic acid products. They have many more things over here, but I really don't think anything that I, uh, let's see, vitamin C, no, not interested. Castor oil, no, so we'll see. How we get on with these products um basically i just use my products till they're done and so i shouldn't have to buy any for a little bit because this i think this is wash this is wash this is a toner which i don't use super often but it's a little and then this is a serum which sometimes i use in co um, combination with a lotion and this is a lotion as well so i think i think we're doing okay here with all that I found.